What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in light of today's amazing release of the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, I thought I'd put together a list of the 20 best Cydia tweaks currently working on 9.3.3. So this is basically a lot of the essential stuff, a lot of really cool things all combined, and I have confirmed every single one does work on this latest release. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this, show you the best things you can do right now with this jailbreak. And first off, the essentials, and that's Pokemon Go Anywhere. So with the latest version of Pokemon, you guys can go ahead and install the latest tweak and it allows you to do a lot of cool things. So I can confirm this is working and just to show you guys that this is on the latest release uh, right there. So uh, it's all good. And this one is an absolute must guys. This is Eclipse 3 night mode. So how to get the new iOS 10 night mode look from just the clock app everywhere. And I got to say, man, it looks really, really nice. It gives an overhaul appearance to any app that you set it to. So I got to say, this is my one recommendation to you guys. If you're going to do anything, do this one. It is amazing just how good it looks. I mean, I don't understand why Apple hasn't brought this over already, but yeah, Eclipse 3. And of course, got to mention Lock Glyph. So this brings the Touch ID animation to the lock screen. So when you guys go ahead and unlock, you can change the color, the appearance, and the sounds. And basically, it looks really, really nice. It's a very clean animation when unlocking your device. Next up is good old cylinder. So it's been updated with so many new effects, but basically add animations when swiping in between pages. And there are so many to choose from in here. So let's just show you a couple other ones. I mean, really, the amount in here and it's absolutely free is just staggering. So definitely check some of these out. Add animations, make your springboard a lot livelier using Cylinder. And next up, this one is a must. So locking individual applications, something Apple forbids you from doing, you can go ahead and lock individual applications using BioProtect and you just use your Touch ID. So it's very intuitive, very easy. And you guys can tweak a lot of these settings in here. So there's really a lot to choose from, but this is one of the best essentials for jailbreakers. And another very big essential one, virtual home. So this basically replaces the need to press your home button. Instead, you can just tap on it. So it'll go home just by tapping on it from within an app, from within another page. If you wanna get into App Switcher, you just tap and hold, or that's actually to turn off. But if you wanna get into the App Switcher, you just hold, I believe, and it jumps right into there. Really, really neat. I mean, not only does it prolong the life of your home button since you're not always pressing it, it's actually just a lot of fun to use. I mean, I really, really hope Apple adds this eventually in iOS 10. And of course, this one deserves an honorable mention and that's swipe selection. This is the pro version, but both work just fine. So what it essentially is, is the iPhone success has that trackpad feature. You can move the cursor around using the trackpad, but not everybody got this and it would be nice for everyone to have. So using swipe selection, you guys can easily move the cursor around in your text without needing a 6S. If you guys wanna select it, just uh, go on the shift key right here and it'll go ahead and select and the backspace key over here, same thing. So really, really useful feature for everyone that doesn't have a 6S. And here's OXO Legacy Edition. So it's a really clean overhauled look for your control center. All of your controls there is just, look how clean that is. It's really small on the bottom. And of course it has a second page. It looks a lot like the iOS 10 one and you guys can go ahead and cram a lot of stuff into here and still have it be very, very functional. And of course, if you go all the way to the right, here is your app switch, or you can easily get into your apps right here. So really, really cool stuff, guys. Also this combined with another tweak, which is CC settings. So if I scroll up to my toggles, I can go ahead and slide through them using CC settings. And you can I mean pile on so many toggles here in settings. You can choose which ones appear, even create new ones if you'd like. And if you guys have wanted a low power mode toggle, you now can have that using this right here, really, really awesome. So once you guys uh, use this, it'll be hard to ever, ever go back to stock iOS. And here's Snakebite. So a very easy way to switch between apps if you have an iPhone 6S. So just 3D touch on the side of the iPhone and this little menu comes up with all of these icons. You can go ahead and toggle in between them really quick. Say you wanna switch into Notepad and let's say you wanna switch back into the phone application. Really, really cool, really easy way to switch between applications here and even go into the app switcher like usual using the bottom icon right there. Now iOS 10 brings a new animation for dragging down the notification center. It looks just like that. Instead of like kind of popping into view, it slowly reveals the contents. It looks kind of cool, like a little swipe away 
and you guys can go ahead and bring this right now over to iOS 9 with Reveal NC9. Just a small little animation, but it has a really clean look. So I really would recommend this guy. It is stock in iOS 10, so why not have it on iOS 9? And since Apple didn't do it for us, let's go ahead and remove the annoying volume HUD and put it up top right here using Status Vol 2. So this will go ahead and replace the annoying one in the middle of your display and just put it up here, kind of like Instagram and Snapchat. Really, really clean look, very subtle. Really, why hasn't Apple done this already? And if you guys were wondering what's going on over here, why these are floating, that's Anchor. So Anchor allows you to reposition your apps anywhere on your springboard. Just grab them and drop them. And this works really, really great on this latest jailbreak. One of my personal favorites as well. So you can go ahead and get some really cool styles, rearrange them, up to you. Now this is my go-to tweak when actually showing off jailbreaks. People are always impressed with this one type status. So this will actually tell you when someone is about to send you a message, but maybe they change their mind, but it'll always keep you aware of what's going on. I mean, it's a little creepy, I know, but hey, it's always kind of cool to see when someone's right about to text you. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and send a test one right now. Let's say typing. So say someone's about to send you a message, they're typing one out, and this is what you're going to get. Or replace your status bar with whoever it is that's typing an iMessage. Take note, this only works with iMessage, cannot predict SMS, so it's just iMessage, but it's a really cool thing. I mean, predictive text. And now that you guys are jailbroken, this is a must. So you guys will often need to respring, and even having the ability to reboot is awesome. So this is Repower. It gives you two new options. Of course, you can power off. You can also reboot like on an Android phone, and you can respring your device. And this is the one that's going to come in handy. Having it right here at all times is really going to be awesome. And of course, good old Zeppelin. Still kicking. This is one of the most reliable city tweaks ever. So replace your carrier logo with an icon or even with custom text. So just to give you an example of some of the ones that are included, uh, let's say you want to put an Apple there, Beats, Cloud, uh, the Decepticon, and there are so many packs you can download from Cydia. So there are many car brands, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, I mean, all these logos. So whatever you want to put up there, you can, and you can download so many more from Cydia. And 100% recommended by me is iCleaner. So now that you guys have a jailbroken device, take advantage of it. Stay in control of your storage. And with this tool, you guys can actually go and clean out all this data, cache files, you know, so much stuff that's left over from applications just in general. Especially if you have a 16 gigabyte device, this will really, really come in handy. You can prevent the over the air software updates from automatically downloading. And just in general, it's really, really good to have. So I would highly recommend you guys get iCleaner. And here's just a couple other ones. So this is Harbor. It brings the OS 10 animation of the dock over. So you guys can go ahead and select any app you want. And when you do, it'll launch up just like that. And the cool thing about it is you can add so many down here and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller to fit them so you guys can go ahead and get a really tiny one and it still looks really good so definitely a really cool one now these last two tweaks go hand in hand so first off is spotlight be gone you'll notice i have no spotlight anymore that's because i removed it it's something i never use so why should i keep it around also you guys can remove this one if you so choose but in settings in the spotlight be gone settings you guys can choose which one you want to disappear and it's such a nice tweak i'm telling you i didn't realize how useless that was for me until i actually removed it also, the next one is Mobius. So Mobius basically just allows you to go through like a loop, just infinity, and it's really, really cool. Just like on some Android phones, this is one of my favorite things just to play around with. It does require a custom source, and I'll set that down below in the description. So really, really cool one. And one last bonus one, and that's Kill Background 9. So notice how there's this little skull icon right here in your app switcher. Now, when you click on it, it'll basically delete everything. Now, whether or not that's actually useful for you know memory optimization, probably not, but you know it's still good to keep organized and not have a ton of things open at the same time. So guys, there it is, 20 awesome tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 that are currently supported. And of course, guys, I will be keeping you updated. I'm gonna be posting many more of these, trust me. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm gonna see this out and uh, make a lot of awesome videos, guys. And guys, just something I wanted to point out, I know a lot of people won't be installing this jailbreak right away. You're doing the right thing because Right now, it's just a little bit buggy. It's not all the way there. And Pengu actually did tweet out that they will be working overnight on a patch with a jailbreak. So a lot of people that tried to jailbreak 
couldn't even. So I will have a full guide up when the new version is out and uh, with a bunch of updated tips and troubleshooting. iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak that came out today is still in its infancy. There's bound to be some crashing, tweaks will not be properly optimized. If you guys are doing this right away, just know that it's not fully 100% there right now, but it will be with a little bit of time as it always is. So uh, yeah guys, who needs iOS 10 when we have all of these awesome jailbreak tweaks. Stay tuned for many more to come. Have a great day. Peace.